welcome back to the Apex Motorsport and here's your six hours of Monza preview. And you join us with the driver's standings which is headed by the number eight Toyota which has a 25 point lead over the hashtag 51 Ferrari after the car took the win at the 24 hours of Le Mans. This has also brought the team's championship right together with Ferrari now just sitting 18 points behind the Toyotas. Therefore, on the home ground of the prancing horse, they'll be looking to close the gap in the championship with just two rounds remaining after Monza. And with their speed shown at Le Mans, they are surely the favourites heading into Monza. For each round for the rest of this season, the BOPs will be different, with Ferrari gaining 5 kilograms for Monza, Cadillac losing 14, Porsche gaining 1, and Peugeot gaining 4. Then in kilowatts, Toyota will lose 5, Ferrari will lose 12, Cadillac will lose 15, Porsche will lose 10, Peugeot will gain 4, and Van Wall will gain 8. Then in the Mega Jewels, Ferrari will lose 8, Cadillac will lose 15, Porsche will lose 11, Peugeot will gain 6, Glickenhaus will gain 3, and Van Wall will gain 12. Then lastly, with Hypercar News heading into the race, another Porsche customer team will make its debut in the form of Proton Competition. This is the third Porsche customer car to make it to the track after Jota and JDC Miller made their debuts in IMSA and WEC. The drivers of the car will be Harry Tinknell, John Maria Bruni, and Neil Jarni. Their achievements include starting off with Jarni, he's a one-time winner of the Mon 24 Hours and was WEC champion with Porsche in 2016. Harry Tignall's achievements include 9 wins in the WEC and the 2016 European Le Mans series. Bruni is an ex-Formula 1 driver with Minardi. He has 3 class victories at the Le Mans 24 Hours and 2 WEC GTE titles. Then in a good omen for the team, both Jarni and Tignall have 100% win rates at Monza. In LMP2, it's very close with just four points separating the hashtag 41 Team WRT car and the hashtag 34 Inter Europol competition car. Both teams have one win apiece with WRT winning in Spa, but Europol would win and take double the points in the Mon. WRT seem like the stronger team as they won the race last year with their sister car. And it should also be mentioned if both teams have a bad day, the hashtag 22 United Oil Sports car is only 20 points behind. Meanwhile, GTE Am has perhaps one of the biggest stories heading into the Monza weekend, with the fact the hashtag 33 Corvette driven by Ben Keating, Nicky Katzberg and Nicholas Ferran can take the GTE Am title. They have dominated the season, with the team having a lowest finish of second from four rounds of racing we've had so far, but the sky is competitive at the circuit with it winning the GTE Pro class last year. There are only 91 obtainable points left this season and Corvette hold a 71 point lead in the GTE AM Championship over the Hashtag 25 ORT by TF Sport Aston Martin and a 73 point lead over the Hashtag 85 Iron Dames Porsche. For Corvette to win the championship in Monza they must take pole position and take the win, win the race, pole and finish P2, finish P2, pole position and finish P3. And the points for a 6 hour race are like Formula 1 with the top 10 only getting points with first getting 25 and last position only receiving 1. Monza is a 3.6 mile race circuit with 11 turns which was constructed in 1922. It sits in the largest city park in Italy. The circuit has only been on the WC calendar since 2021 making this the only the third time the circuit has hosted the championship. The fastest lap around the circuit in a hypercar is the 708 Glickenhaus, with the car setting a time of 1 minute 35.416. In the world of Formula 1, Ferrari have the most wins at the circuit with 19. Will they be able to replicate this with their hypercar program? Then the race will see a new winner in the hypercar class, with last year's winner being the hashtag 36 Alpine in the grandfathered LMP1 car. Obviously the team's taking a year out this year to work on their hypercar, therefore this weekend we'll see only the second win for a hypercar at the circuit. Isoto Francini have appeared in the Monza paddock with their Typo 6 Competizione hypercar, with it expected to make two demo runs over the weekend, one on the Saturday and one on the Sunday. They also announced they'll have a single entry in the 2024 WEC season. I hope you enjoyed today's video, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.